I just got the camera set up and there's a group of sheep, a couple of rams and some ewes headed up this ridge right here, headed up to the top. See, that's what I like about scouting because if you get out in the countryside and you, and you get yourself a good spot and you can look around, you don't know what you're gonna see. You know, I come down here to mule deer hunt and I've already seen coos deer, I've seen mule deer and now desert sheep and that was a really nice band but it just goes to show how dry it's been in this area because those sheep have come down to get some water in one of these drinkers and they're heading back up. When you get an opportunity to travel and hunt, there's so many different things to see. It's kind of like you're on vacation. Going to Mexico, for example, you know, there's spear fishing down there, which I love to do. And you've also got the history of the area and the language barrier and a lot of the different culture. Well, I ventured down to the Sierra Cortez, a little town of Kino Bay. It was uh, founded by Father Kino, a Jesuit missionary from the 1600s. Just a beautiful place to come and visit. A lot of history here in the Spanish missions. You know, the missions were not only a place of worship, but a sanctuary when times got tough and desperados and uh, wars broke out. This wall is probably three stories plus high and over three feet thick. You could hide in here, it was almost like a fort. One of the interesting things about traveling and hunting is that a lot of times camp isn't always like the brochure. Sometimes you're in a tent, sometimes you've got kind of rough quarters, but here in Mexico, this hunt has just amazing accommodation, just a beautiful camp right in the Sonora Desert. Well, I just got into camp, if you can call it camp. It's a beautiful Spanish estancia. It's painted red in color and you can see it from a distance out in the desert, just spectacular. Stone floors, tall ceilings, big wooden beams inside, and giant muley bucks. We got pretty good genes in this ranch. Some of these deer, they're chets, the deer are still alive, and some of them, they're gankills. And, uh, but we noticed in the last two, three years, we got more and more, more bow hunters. You know, you need different setup for the bow hunters. We did it. And two years ago, we got the new world record in Pop and Young. We got trail cameras in like uh, 10 different stations right now. And uh, we find some really good bucks coming to the water hole, to the drinkers too. 2011 was a really dry year for us. We got just two inches of rain the whole year. So we start to feed our cows. They need supplementary stuff. So the deer start coming too to the water and then they start to eat the leftovers, whatever is left after the cows leave. They start to come and eat them too. They need it. It's been, it's been a rough year for them. So we got a couple of spots uh, with good bucks coming to there, I hope. Next few days, you can harvest one. Grab my bow. I've been in the TV business for a long time and been in a lot of shoots, a lot of TV hunts. But being the cameraman and the hunter at the same time is pretty crazy. There's a lot going on. All right, we'll see ya. Oh. See the sun's beating down. I mean, it's middle of the day, but it's the best time to go to get in the blind. Well, this setup right here is the type of water holes that are found here on the ranch. Basically, it's just a tank with a float valve on it, and uh, the 
PVC pipe runs from the big storage tank and fills these up. And there's, I believe, 14 different stations on this ranch. This pasture itself may be five, 6,000 acres. These desert mule deer can go anywhere they want. But there's been a drought, and it's been one of the driest years in the last 10 years here. And what that basically means is that the reality is these deer want to drink water, they're going to have to come to one of these little holes like this. Typically when you think about going to Sonora and going on a desert mule deer hunt, you're thinking about spot and stalk hunting. But when you're a solo cam hunter, you've got to get in a blind. You've got to get into a position where you can actually film the hunt. I had decided that if I was going to do this, I was going to do it right. I wanted to show you my setup here in the blind. I've got three different cameras set up. I've got a small wide angle lens that I'm going to use for the over the shoulder shot and some side cutaways. I've got my main camera, my main Sony camera that I'm going to use on a tripod for moving around and I've also got a GoPro. And so with these three cameras I'm going to try to capture all the action I can. The last two times that I've hunted in this particular blind I haven't seen a shooter. I've seen uh, does, I've seen some smaller bucks, had some javelina come in, but no shooter muley bucks. I already had an arrow knocked, I had my bow set up, and I had it leaning up against the blind. So I'm looking through the viewfinder, I'm watching the monitor on the camera, and I'm filming this deer, trying to be as steady as I can. just hammered a big desert mule deer, 170 at least. Five on one side, four on the other. It's too much like work running these cameras, but it's solo cam style. I double lung that buck, 25 yard shot, headed to the water hole. It does not get any better. <laughs> Here's my camera set up outside the blind. You can see what the deer could see, just that camera through there and me shooting through this little hole right here. We're gonna walk out here and see if we can find the buck. I'll check it out. There's my arrow right there. There's my arrow. There's blood right there. 
Yeah, he got on this trail right here and is headed this direction. Blood right there. There he is right there. It doesn't get any better. He went 80 yards. I had to get my camera set up. But look at this. <laughs> this is phenomenal right here. Five on this side, four on this side. So he's typical over here. He's got this non-typical tine, just a brow tine on his right side. When I saw him coming through the brush, I knew he was a shooter. I got the full draw and throttled him. Two blade rage, titanium. He made it to right here. Just a beautiful, beautiful buck. And film your own hunt. <laughs> What a fantastic time. I just love bow hunting and this is why.